Hey everyone, Marco here, back once again from the My Color Screen channel, and welcome to the world of Android customization. In today's video, it's going to be a blockbuster home screen and lock screen combination all in one, just to get your phone looking amazing for a brand new week. So, without any further ado, let's bring you today's new video. Great everyone, so like I said today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to set up a custom Android lock screen as well as home screen. As you can see before you here, here is the custom lock screen. Both are designed by Rabrot and it is fantastic. It's very clean, it's very minimal, you've got your time there, your date, everything that you need. You've got your cell data here, your signal, I mean you've got your battery percentage there as well, as well as this little touch to unlock that when tapped unlocks your phone. So how cool is that? And having a look at this home screen now, you've got your three main pages here. Once again, it's got your time, it's got your little dock here at the bottom that comes with a few useful icons. It's got the same battery percentage and cell data there at the top cross. We've got a bit more information such as our notifications as well as a bit more about our date. And then swiping, our last page has got our music that say when tapping the play button right there, starts playing the music just like that. And of course you can just pause it by tapping the same button and then yeah, that how cool is that? You've got your app drawer right here, bringing up your app information, or app drawer information. So if you'd like to know how to set up both of these lock screen and home screen, well then let us begin with today's video tutorial. Great, so before we begin, just letting you know what apps and resources that you'll be needing in order to complete this very setup. So step one, the apps that you'll be needing will be ES File Explorer. You just need a good old file explorer just to cut and paste files into their specific locations. Widget Locker will be important as that's the lock screen app. Your media utilities, and that's needed in order to get your song information to display correctly. Your third party launcher, and I definitely recommend Nova Launcher Prime because it's got very specific little options that many launchers do not have. And then finally, Zupa widget in order to add in all these widgets that you see before you here. And if you'd like to know what icons are used at the bottom, it's the ones called, I think, Eternal by a random package. Don't worry, everything is provided in the links below. So yeah, those are the apps that you'll be needing. Step two, you want to download the zip file that's located also in the description that contains all the resources necessary for this very setup. So all you'd have to do is say download it onto your computer and extract it using various file extraction software such as WinZip or WinRAR, or you can copy it directly onto your phone and extract it using ES File Explorer. So once that's done, you want to be configuring media utilities in order to get this music information displaying. And in order to do that, simply have to just obviously just download the app. And then from here, you just need to select the settings, either be at the top or at the bottom. So if you're running a Samsung device, you want to select your settings right now. You want to scroll a bit down and you want to make sure that all of these are enabled, such as Zupa, Minimalistic Text, UCCW. I just have all of them installed just in case I happen to run into another app and I've just already got all of them pre-configured. Once that's done, you want to slide a bit more down and you want to make sure that all of these are also enabled. For example, use alternative data collection, attempt direct control, make cover arts available and yeah, send song progress. So make sure that those are all enabled and that is your media settings complete. The only thing we need to do now is to configure or make sure that all the Zupa widget files are in their correct place. So from here, you just want to open up your file explorer, whatever it may be. You want to go into that folder that you've copied now onto your phone, hopefully that one here called A-OS. And from here you want to go into it and you want to look for all the .zw files as those are all the little Zupa widget files and they need to be placed into the Zupa widget folder. So you can just hold down one on one of them, select all of them just like this. So I think that's all of them. That looks pretty good. I'm just going to select copy right now. I'm going to go back into my main SD card directory, jump into Zupa widget, go into our templates folder and select paste and now it's just going to or pretty much paste all those correct Zupa widget files into their correct place. So that's all we need to do for all the setup. Now all we have to do is to start configuring. We're going to start off with the home screen settings. So let's jump into our Nova Launcher setup. Great, so in order for the Nova Launcher setup, you want to make simply that you've got no applications or apps or widgets. Anything that's running on your phone, just need to hold down on them and select remove, or you can just drag them into the X at the top. Next up, you want to jump into your Nova Launcher settings. So I'm just going to hold down on the home screen, select a little wrench right there, and this brings up my Nova settings. From here, I'm going to jump into my desktop and then into my desktop grid. And as you can tell, it's a 10 by 6, which seems to work out pretty well for my Nexus 5. For anyone else, it might be slightly different, but yeah. 
it's whatever works best for you. I'm going to select OK. Your margins, you want to be on none. You want to scroll down. Shadow, you want that to be deselected. Home screens, you want to be having three home screens as it's a three page setup. Scrolling a bit more down, your scroll effect, the author did recommend that wipe looks the best and I tend to agree with him. It looks fantastic. So keep in mind that wipe looks good. You want to scroll a bit more down. Your scroll indicator, you want that to be deselected as well as label icons. But the last three that you do want to be enabled is resize all widgets, widgets overlap, and then finally overlap when placing. So make sure you got all that down. Next up, you want to go into your dock settings, as this is quite important. You want to enable your dock and then go into your dock style. As here, we're going to be selecting the background right now, and you pretty much want it to be that plain, just plain white or whatever background it is. Next up, you want to select your color. And you want to make sure that it is pure white. So all the F's right there, select OK. And your transparency, you want to bump that up to 70%. So well, so it's pretty much quite transparent. So keep that in mind. Make sure that it's a rectangle. And you can just select done right now. And yeah, make sure that that dock style is also enabled as, yeah, otherwise it'll not work. Your width margin you want, you can pretty much leave that to be on none. I don't think it really matters. Your dock height, you also want to be that on medium. And that's pretty much it. But the last thing you do want to have enabled is dock as overlay. Quite important as it comes in handy later on. So that's our dock settings done. Next up, we want to jump into our look and feel. As from here, you want to just change your icon theme. It's always recommended. It's the one, remember I said one titled Eternal. I think it's that how you pronounce it. But yeah, I just got the free version. There is a paid version, which I definitely recommend that you go and try out. So, and then still within look and feel, you want to make sure that your uh, show notification bar is disabled because we're going to be adding in our own awesome looking notification bar. So that's pretty much our Nova settings complete. You're always welcome to add in a gesture and button save for your home button, which is that one down there to make it your app drawer just in case you happen to delete your app drawer icon and then you can always just get back into your app drawer. So there we go. That is our Nova settings complete. So next up, we're going to start to add in our Zupa widgets, which are extremely easy to do. Great. So step one for our Zupa widgets, we're going to hold down on the home screen, select widgets right now. Remember, that's that dock that's been added. You're always welcome to add in whatever icons that you want. But from here, I'm going to be selecting Super Widget Pro. Now, I'm going to start off at the top. So let's go, say, for a, mm, what is good, a 5x1. So you can get it a bit wider. So I'm just going to hold down on it like this. We can select Resize. And now you want to make it take up that entire top bar. Next up, you want to just select it. This brings up our Super Widget configuration tool here. You want to select SD card. And hopefully, if you've copied those, those super widget templates into the correct place then they should pop up here so i'm just going to scroll all the way down to the bottom and here we can see them so i'm going to be selecting ios status home because this is for your home pages right here and for some reason my cell information i guess there that mtn one is, isn't looking too good it's a little bit to the right so if i select layout right now that will enable me to move it around so i just need to look for it where is it there it is it's the second rich text module so if i select it now and my X offset, I can just bump it up to say 10 or bump it down to 10. And that looks a whole lot better. So if you encounter that problem, make sure that you just bump it up a little bit to the left as well. And it looks a whole lot better. So we just want to see right now what it looks like. So I'm just going to go back. And as you can see, I apologize for the quality. But you can tell that it fits at the top there. It looks really good. you got your battery information there and your cell information there. So I think that's a winner. So next up, we want to be adding in our clock. This is just for the, the main home screen, I guess. Uh, doesn't really matter which ones you start off with, but I'm just going to be teaching you guys how to set up the first main page as the rest are all exactly the same just by selecting different Zupa widgets. So holding down on it, I'm just selecting resize as I'm quite lazy to look for the correct size, but I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to make it pretty big because I want the clock to be pretty big. So I'm just going to select the widget right now, select SD card once again, and from here, I want to scroll all the way down right to the bottom. And where is it? It's the one there. It is. Oh, not that one. Here, iOS home time. So selecting that, that looks pretty good. If you go into your layout, remember, you can always change your hotspot. In other words, what app you want it to open when selecting a certain module. So for example, my rich text, the author has configured it to be timely, which I don't actually have on my phone. I know I probably should, but I do not use it. So what do I do? So I just need to select the module on tap action. And from here, I want to swap across to my app list and scroll a bit more down to, I think, where, where is it? The clock. So now what happens is when I select the time, I can actually just show you right now. Let's just go back out of everything. 
and now once I select it, wait for it, there it is, when I select the clock, there it is, it'll bring up the time, how cool is that? So that's pretty much adding in Zupa widgets, the other two screens are also pretty straightforward, you just need to tinker a bit with the resizing and how large they're going to be, but once you're happy with all of them, what's going to happen is say if you tap the side of a Zupa widget, it's going to bring up this editor, which I don't really want, so make sure you first configure all your little modules to open up the various apps that you would want like I just did now with the clock and once you're happy with all of them you want to go to widget on tap action and you want to select disabled so what does that mean well when I go back out of it I can still open up my clock app just like that however if I select around it nothing nada nothing happens which is really awesome it just uncomplicates things when you want to just navigate your home screen so what I'm gonna let you do now guys is to add in the rest of the widgets for the other two pages and come back to me once you are done. Great everyone, so I hope you've added in the rest of the Zupa widgets that you can see before you here. The only one that seemed to give me some trouble was this one at the bottom, the app drawer one. If I hold down on it and select resize, you can tell that I've made it the entire width, it might help you guys out, and it was slightly higher, so I just bumped it down a bit and that seemed to make it look a whole lot better. So that is pretty much your home screen complete. You're always welcome to, like I said, change the icons at the bottom to whatever you want, but yeah, this is the home screen complete. It looks awesome. Next up, we're going to be setting up the lock screen, so let's jump into it. Great, so I'm just going to quickly run through the widget locker setup. I'm just going to select it right now. As you can see, everything has been set up. So from here, you just make sure that if you've got obviously any widgets or apps or anything that's on your widget locker screen, you just want to hold down on it, select remove, or just drag it into the bin. I think it's at the bottom. Next up, you want to select the little white icon here that brings up your settings in the top right hand side. Make sure that widget lock is on. And from here, we're going to jump into our look and feel. Make sure that alternative wallpaper is enabled. That's now you can now select your select wallpaper. And from here, you, obviously, you've copied that folder onto your phone. And from here, you want to select your gallery. Now, you just need to find all your preferred gallery app. And from here, you want to find, this is see that AOS folder. As you can tell, it comes with all the different wallpapers. But you just want to select the one that's not blurred as, yeah, that's the one that we're going to be using. So in order to just configure it, you just need to resize it. I think this is pretty much this area over here. I think that looks pretty good. Select OK and that is the wallpaper complete. So next up we want to jump into our layout. As from here a 10 by 6 also seems to work out pretty well. So also just keep that in mind. Next up your high notification bar. You want to make sure that that's enabled. And if I go back now that's pretty much our home screen complete. You're always welcome to go into advanced. And from here you want to say select widget overlap, which comes in extremely handy as we're going to be overlapping the custom slider with a Zupa widget. So make sure that that's enabled. Your home helper, you just want to make sure that those options are all enabled. As a lot of people always complain that when you select the mini button, it unlocks your phone. So always just keep that in mind within the home helper. But that is our widget locker settings complete. If I go back now, I just want to see what everything looks like. And like I said, it's very easy to do once you set up the home screen. Adding in these widgets are exactly the same process, nothing changes. So once you've added in all the widgets, the last thing you want to do is to configure the little touch to unlock button here. So in order to do that, you just want to hold down on the home screen. From here you want to select custom slider and you can just keep it with the stock one because you pretty much need it for one purpose only. Next up you want to select this green unlock button here, swipe it to the right, select disabled. Select the sound button here, swipe it to the left, select disabled. And now select that middle button. From here you want to select widget locker actions. Make sure that you select the unlock feature as you obviously want to unlock the phone but you don't want this very green icon. You want to select a transparent icon and in order to do that you want to select the icon tab right now. Select your gallery and then just find a blank PNG. Don't worry I've included one also in the folder so you do not need to worry. So once you've selected it you don't need to do any cropping whatsoever, as is, of course it's transparent. And as you can see, it looks all good. Just need to select done right now. And then finally, the last thing that you want to do is to hold down on it, make sure that you don't lose it, select resize, and then pretty much just resize it over the touch to unlock area. So what you're always welcome to do now is to configure each one of the Zupa widgets modules, make sure that they open up different apps. But if you're lazy like me, you can just hold down on each one of them and select block clicks, and that just prevents you from doing anything to them like as you can see nothing can happen so I do that also with this touch to unlock one right here say block clicks and that is all we need to do you can just touch to unlock see if it works 
How cool is that? Great, so I'm just gonna be testing out the lock screen right now, see what it's all about. Just gonna lock the phone and then just unlock it and then bam, how cool is that? So as you can tell, it's got everything that you need right here. And one thing you may have noticed, it's got these two little handles on the side, which the author did, and it looks amazing. If you swipe it on this side, it's got the little favorite apps that you can put on the side. You can always customize it within Widget Locker. And then obviously this one on the side right here, that if you swipe it across, brings up your camera. And it's such an awesome feature. Really, really enjoy it. So thank you very much, guys, for watching this video. Hope you have enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please give us a thumbs up as well as please subscribe to the My Color Screen channel if you haven't already. Also, don't forget to check out the various social communities within My Color Screen as well as Thema. And if you're wondering what Thema is, well, that is My Color Screen's official one click theming app. That basically, what you do is, as you can see, it's been set up like this. Obviously, it just needs to be a bit reconfigured. But if you go into your browse themes right now, go into your browse themes, just choose whatever theme that you want. Then all you have to do is to select it, click apply, and then literally within a few seconds, you can have a very awesome looking custom home screen that basically does everything that you need it to do and of course Thema is free so go check it out at the Play Store today. Other than that thank you very much guys for watching Marco here from My Color Screen and as always don't stop customizing.